Hey all, Rick Rex here, back with another one for you on DCUO. And today we're wrapping up our look at Hardlight with the melee build. Now it's really weird when we have a power that performs so well on a range loadout because it always makes me think that there won't be room to give a green check mark to say, hey, it's worth it to melee. But Hardlight didn't fail yet again. Now we of course are going to check out the mods, the artifacts, the allies, the build, the loadout, and yes, we'll check out what kind of damage this thing can put out. But first, if you like what you see and you want more, hit that like and subscribe button to help keep the channel growing and also to not miss one single update as they drop. So Hardlight Melee, and this one was so unique. I've always had in my head that Rage was built for melee and Hardlight was really built for ranged, but the combos that Hardlight have in its set actually make it possible for a wide variety of melee variants. The downside to most of these variants though is that they're mostly front loaded on the combos, and that's a problem because 95% of them available are single target on the front that move into splash damage. Plus, the other part of that is, is that they're all burst type powers, which is great, except it moves us into another problem, like the one we faced on Atomic. Burst is great, really great, but how do we get it to hit enough times to overcome the crit percent issue? This power, much like Atomic, lacks those dots or damage over time powers that we use to round a loadout out. The good news is, is that we can maneuver an unusual set of combos with a massive amount of clipping to deliver well above the right amount of hits to make Hardlight Melee not only worth it, but to sing too. And best of all, we don't have to use Whirling Dervish or Vortex Trap in this one, which means it's not just for super speed, and that's wonderful, but I'll get into that in just one second. So we'll start out with our white mods as always. In our weapon, we're going Blast Adapter for this one. Now we won't be weapon clipping in this one, but we do make use of that in the range build, so it's best to keep it the same across the board for simplicity's sake, and with Hardlight being so power friendly, we shouldn't be running into too many issues with power at all, so we're good there too. In our head, we're going Supercharged Strafing Run. Now again, I ran through all of the available super options on this power and this one does some massively impressive things on multiple targets because of the way it hits. Now it's a 10,000 super and I hear you, you don't want to do that, but the damage that it puts out trumps anything that you put it up against so it really makes it worth it. This one does put me in mind of Big Gun for munitions except because it has multiple hits to it, it's not a crit or die situation like Big Gun is. In our neck, we're going Escalating Might for the extra 2% might bump that it provides us when it procs. In our back, we're going Berserker Damage as we don't have any cooldown issues that need to be addressed with the power and that means extra damage when the situation calls for it. In our chest, we're going Penetrating Strikes for the NPC defense reduction that it gives us. Now I always make a big deal out of this a lot because you wouldn't believe the amount of people that I still see using core strength. It's crazy y'all. So please, do yourself and your group a favor and switch to penetrating strikes. In our legs, we're going restorative hand clap. Now this one is used in the single target set, so there's no need to change this out from build to build. In our feet, we're going tumbling master to keep us out of trouble with all of the environmental damage that happens in today's content and also, you never know when you're going to need to pick somebody up quick y'all. And in our hands, we're going max damage as always for the 2% bump in damage that it gives us when it procs as well. For artifacts, we're going with the trans strat quiz combo for this one. Trans for the extra crits that it provides, strat to leverage those crits into innate damage, and quiz for his mega blast, refractal beam, and the 1% super that he gives us when mega blast goes off. For allies, we're going with the AoE trinity on this one, Superman, Batman Who Laughs, and Shazam. Now we're putting Supes into the damage slot for his cone ability, Freezing Breath. This one hits super great on mobs and makes him the perfect fit for the damage slot. In our first passive, we're going with Batman Who Laughs for his Luck of the Draw ability to take advantage of the cards that he throws and the buffs that they provide us. He is a staple of any DPS build and one you should have and be running always. 
In our second passive slot, we're going with Shazam. Now he is the new kid on the block, but his power of the Shazam Lee ability gives us a 6% might bump every time we throw an ally. That again is a stackable Omega that lasts 30 seconds and that is huge. That alone makes him the other staple of any DPS build. Now let's take a look at the build itself. So we'll start out with our weapon and we won't be spending any points here as we just simply won't be using it. And for our movement mode, we're going to grab our super up top, take one on the second row of your choosing, doesn't matter which, and then let's grab our innates, acrobatics to the lower right, and everyone else to the left to the left. Remember y'all, this one is not super speed specific, so you can be any movement type that you choose. And for our Iconics, we're going to grab Robot Sidekick only. And for stat or skill points, we're going Super Powered Focus, we're going to max out our crit attack chance and damage, and then we're going to dump everything into Might and Power. Anything left from here is going to go straight into health, because remember y'all, a dead DPS does no DPS. So with this build, it puts my Might at 176-500. This is super important so you can see how this build will look compared to your tune on live and know how it's going to perform. My might there is significantly higher on my tunes and you should notice that as well. And now for the star of the show, and that's the loadout. So we're going with Chompers, Impact, Ram, and Lightweight. And we're going to round that out with Robot Sidekick and Strafing Run. So let's dive a little deeper here. So we have choppers that we're going to use for its PI and also the dot or damage over time that it does. Now this is really important for one simple reason. We want to make sure that that strat card is going to work like crazy. And the only way to do that is to crit. So with that being said, the more you hit, the more you crit. Up next is impact. Now I love this power because it hits multiple times, totaling out to great damage output, also helping us with the strat card, but it also has a tap melee combo into chainsaw which does some pretty tremendous damage in a burst type, and it's power clippable and also not backloaded which is great. Then we have ram. Now ram is another burst power that hits really well and also has a tap melee combo into whip thrash and that hits multiple times and also totals out to great damage once again, plus it's power clippable also. And then we have Lightweight. Now this one works very similar to a Whirling Dervish type power that's built into the power set, but it has a clip at the end for an additional tick of damage, but we don't want to take advantage of that too soon. So our rotation here is a busy one, but it's not too complicated. We're going to lay down choppers and then go into impact. We're going to immediately combo to chainsaw and then power clip with ram. Then we're going to immediately combo that with whip thrash and then power clip with lightweight. Now we're going to let that run for a couple of seconds and then tap range combo for the weight throw at the end and then we're running back to chompers. So that equates out to 1, 2, tap melee combo once, clip with 3, tap melee combo once, clip with four and let it run. Then we're going to tap a range combo and then rinse and repeat. As I said, this is a busy one, but you'll get an idea of the timing on the slowdown. So let's check out what kind of damage this thing puts up.
Okay, y'all. I didn't think we'd be able to make the melee set worth it, but boy did we get there. So let's get the bat out of the way right quick, if you want to call it that. And that's our low. It came in at 219,908 DPS, and I almost laugh a little bit when I say that, but I overclipped actually a few times in the set, and you can see where I did that based off the amount of hits, and this was one of them. As you can tell, even if you do have a mess up, you're still putting up amazing damage. Our high comes in at a staggering 284,798 damage per second. And what's crazy is, is that it had company in that neck of the woods too. But it looks like the loadout's gonna live at or average out to the upper 240s to the lower 250,000 range, making melee worth it all day in hard light provided that you have a good healer and a great tank beside you. But even though we did so well here, it's time for my favorite part. Let's drop everything. Man, I love that. So our big hit comes in at 2,284,892 damage per second. That's right. For those of y'all sitting in the back, that's almost 23 million in damage in 10 seconds. You want to melt some ads? This is the way. So what's really crazy is, is what happened after that. We had parses coming at 296,000, 281,000, 295,000. 273,000 and another at 289,000 before settling back down into a normal range. Now this one did hit different than the range one did, which I found a bit odd, but in the end it delivered as much damage. I love it! Well y'all, that wraps up Hardlight Melee and the power set. I had a ton of fun with this one and up next is Rage, so I have a ton of work ahead of me on that one. But until then, thanks for joining and once again, if you like what you see and you want more, hit that like and subscribe button to help keep the channel growing and also to not miss one single update as they drop. I'll see y'all next time.